The five stories the mainstream media refused to report to you this week. Number one, according to a new survey, 45% of self-identifying queer men plan to vote for President Trump in November. The survey was conducted by a dating app for queer men called Hornet, and this is what they found, and I quote, of the 10,000 men Hornet surveyed, 12% identified themselves as U.S. citizens. Of those 1,200 American men, 51% answered they would be voting for Joe Biden in the upcoming presidential election, while 45%, just shy of one half, said they would be casting their ballot for Donald Trump, end quote. But did the mainstream media report this to you? Nope, the mainstream media was silent. Number two, in the wake of Netflix releasing the movie Cuties, which portrays 11-year-old girls in explicit sexual poses, Netflix saw a huge increase in people canceling their accounts. Three days after the September 9th release date of the movie, Netflix cancellations increased to eight times the normal daily average, according to a report by Variety. But did the mainstream media report this to you? Oh no. The mainstream media, in fact, has defended the sexual portrayal of children, calling it powerful which is disgusting. Number three, while the left blamed the Northwestern wildfires on climate change, and Nancy Pelosi said, Mother Earth is angry at us, and the wildfires are proof that climate change is a crisis, this man was arrested after admitting that he started the brush fire in Portland with a Molotov cocktail. You'll notice his name is not climate or change. And the reason the fires were so quick to spread was not due to climate change either, but poor forest management on the part of the Democratic politicians in California and Oregon. But did the mainstream media report this? No, no, they did not. Number four, up until this week, your taxpayer dollars were being used to fund critical race theory training and white privilege workshops at federal government agencies, like the CDC, for example, who was planning to run a critical race theory training series paid for by you, but thanks to President Trump, these trainings have been canceled effective immediately, and any funding to federal agencies who try to conduct this radical leftist ideological indoctrination with taxpayer dollars will be cut. But did the mainstream media report on this? Nope, they didn't say a word. Number five, President Donald J. Trump brokered an historic Middle East peace deal, the Abraham Accords, diffusing tensions and opening diplomatic relations between Israel and the UAE and Bahrain. This is a huge breakthrough for peace in the Middle East. The first time anti-Iran foreign policy hasn't focused on Iran first. To say this is a victory for our nation and the world would be an understatement, but did the mainstream media report on it? Actually, the mainstream media was more interested in whether people were wearing masks at the White House ceremony. Since the mainstream media refuses to report any of this to you, we will. 